Today, we are calibrating the S-Pod using ambient air to zero the instrument. Depending on application requirements and environmental conditions, periodic calibrations may be required to maintain target accuracy. Required materials are as follows. The USB configuration cable, a laptop with cool term or other serial terminal program, span gas containing 1,000 parts per billion isobutylene, a constant flow regulator, and the rubber calibration cap with lure connection. During calibration, power cannot be directly applied to the S-Pod unit. The calibration procedure is performed using the battery installed in the device. After removing the power cable, hook up the USB cable to your computer and the S-Pod unit, making sure to match up the four pins and notch of the cable to the S-Pod. Be aware, when plugging in the black USB cable, it will reset the S-Pod unit. To prevent resetting of the S-Pod, use the black USB cable with the included gray patch cable. Power on the S-Pod unit. The unit must be allowed to run for three minutes before any calibration commands will be acknowledged. Open the cool term application. Click on the connect icon. This will allow the S-Pod and computer application to communicate. On the command line, type yes within the 10 second countdown, then click the return key. Type debug, then click on the return key. Type exit and click on the return key. At this point, the PID has been exposed to fresh ambient air for at least three minutes. Check the readings on your computer. The readings next to PID1 is the number you are observing. It may take several minutes more if you're in a location with a high volatile organic compound background. After the reading is stable, type on the command line 01 the reading will zero. Hook up the isobutylene calibration gas to the S-Pod using the calibration cap. Push the cap on fully to minimize the dead air space around the sensor. Be aware, the cap is not airtight. The gas will flow out around the sides of the cap during the calibration. Allow the sensor reading to stabilize in isobutylene. After the reading is stable, send the command span 1 colon 1000. The 1000 references the concentration in parts per billion of isobutylene used to calibrate the instrument. If you use a concentration of 500 parts per billion, then you would enter 500 in place of the 1000. Shut off the gas flow and then remove the cap. Calibration is now complete. For more information, contact Diamond Scientific at 321-223-7500 or at diamondsci.com. That's diamond S C I dot com.